Hi, today I'm going to show a little technique that uh, SynthSyn75 uh, explained on the uh, anime forum, or I guess it's called the Mo Moho forum now. And this is helpful if you need to add points to your drawing after you've created an, an action. And that can happen uh, when you're creating head turns, for example, if you haven't really thought through very carefully um, the points that you need in your vectors. So here's the situation that can happen. I've got here a layer that I just put a circle on there, and you can see it's got four points in it. And that's within a bone layer. And so I've created a bone, a smart bone uh, B1, that's a smart bone dial. And when I move this smart bone dial, the circle is going to move across the screen. You could have it do a head turn, but this just makes it easy to see the motion. So now this is not a smart bone tutorial. You need to see other videos for that. But this explains a technique that you can use to fix something if you need to add points. So here if I open up the action for B1, here's the uh, bone uh, key, fr key frames. And then on the layer we see we've got some key frames there causing the circle to move. And so if I go back to the main line and I realize, ooh, I need to add some points in here. Well, if I do that and I add a point, I'm going to add it up here and there. Just add two points. Let's add four points in there. So now as we go to the bone layer, if I do the smart bone dial, we notice that, ooh, this doesn't work the way that I would expect. And if you look closely, what's happening is those four points that you're, you've just added, they don't move. They aren't even in that smart bone action, and so they don't do anything. And that should be obvious, but you can, can confirm that by when I select these four points, we see that there is no um, action associated with them. So I can now fix this in two ways. Number one, I can go to the frames and then just um, adjust the points as appropriate in my action itself. I can do that that's one approach. I'm going to go ahead and delete that change there. And, and so now there's no action associated with points and we've got that same problem. Now there's another approach that you can use uh, that SynthSyn75 showed and that is to add the points in the main uh, time frame. So let me get rid of those uh, points now. And what we want to do is first go into the um, action for that layer and copy that to the main frame. So I just copy and then go back to the main timeline and paste. Now if we add points, so you can see you know, that action happening. Now if we go and add points in the main timeline, we can see that they get interpolated in the main timeline. So now all you have to do is copy those uh, changes and put them in to the main in, into your uh, bone action. So I can delete that now and we can see that by moving the smart bone things work properly. So anyway, that's just another technique, another way to do things, and thought I'd share that.